Okay, so this is the exciting part. When we get to uh, break these parts loose from the parts tree and start to assemble the, uh, the frame. So I'm going to start with the bottom piece here. So we'll take that. We'll also take this uh, other one here. For the time being, I'm going to leave the smaller parts on the parts tree. So I'll put this aside. Okay, this is what I'm concerned with. This is, this is what I was talking about in my uh, discussion about the uh, how I want these things to fit. And so, actually, I needed to retweak the uh, bend lines here. So it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. And that's going to sandwich the other side like that. Okay, that looks good. I mean, why shouldn't? It's all computer generated. Okay, so these sections here are basically for the seats. And this particular seat has a, it's kind of leaned back. And these seats are actually a little more at 90 degrees. So, but, you know, this is just to get an idea. That'll work really nice there. I'm going to retweak this. Actually, I'm going to use this other seat here. Because this, no, that one is already installed. Uh, let's see. Let me just take this one out. Okay, so if we put the seat more at 90 degrees with a back, that should sit perfectly right there. And it does. That's one seat. And then the second seat on the back will be like that. And this will have an extra cushion here for the head of the pilot in the back. Typically, that's how the real one is done, and, and so that's the way I will do this. Okay, so the next thing is uh, to use uh, these uh, parts as templates for drilling the holes that are going to be uh, used for uh, tamping uh, these plates. Uh, I'm also going to need, let's see, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need that bracket there. So I'm going to pull that bracket from here. I don't know which one of these brackets. I think. I think it's that one. They're very close. I think they're the same angle. I think I did this at the same angle just so that I can reuse the same parts. So I think we're okay there. The servo will fit right in between there. Okay, and this section here, this carbon rod that's going to be attached to the front end here will just sit between these two plates and it'll be nice and clean, nice and cover. The canopy will cover it and like I said, I might use reuse this pattern for canopy, although I do like this particular one, which is the actual uh, uh, body for the Tenarg. So this will be my control panel. If we overlay this, if we superimpose this over this drawing, you know, we can see here, let's just remove this because we don't need that for now. But if we superimpose this section here, you know, we can see how clean that fits. Sorbo right here, the pilot would sit right there. The seat will be right there. seat, it'll be the other seat. Okay, it's looking good. Um, the control panel will, will be built from this uh, geometry here. I'll build the uh, control panel and then of course the uh, the um, windshield, which is just this triangular section. Here's a very, very low profile windshield.
Okay, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and drill all the holes on the aluminum tubing and I'll come back to this video. Okay, so here's the frame already assembled. And the servo has been fitted, fits uh, like a glove. The plate uh, for the dual servos will fit it at the back here and I need to drill those holes. The seat should fit right there. That'll be attached with a small bracket. There's one seat. There's the second seat. Second seat. Front seat. I think I might be able to pull this off with this body here. Oh yeah, that'll work. Actually, that's going to work beautifully. Already, very exciting. So you um, have to make the landing gear next, and uh, motor support, a couple braces for the carbon rod here. Do the installation of the front landing gear, steering landing gear. There's a servo for the steering. And pretty much, that's that's done. So once again, this is Mario with me on Microflight. Stay tuned for more.